Hi, my name is Anna Ravana. In this course, I'll show you how to create the game character. We will create a 3D model of the animal, also it looks like a dinosaur, and several accessories such as saddle, hiking bag and other travel accessories. We will figure out how to choose the right references, make sculpting ZBrush, topology in Maya, UV in Rhizome UV, textures in Substance Painter, set up the rig and make two animations in Maya using the Advanced Skeleton plugin, and at the end we will pose character and make the final render in Ramaset. We have a concept art. It was drawn by my colleague, concept artist Michael Pumiton. He made this especially for this course. At first, we need to pick up all the necessary references in the Pureref program. This is a very handy program. You can view how case in the settings. We will press Ctrl U and here we can see all the hot case on this program. I recommend to remember some of these. Since the character is fictional and resembles a dinosaur, we will look at the anatomy of existing animals, about the structure which we have information, and try to imagine how the muscles of our creature were located. First, let's look at the surviving skeletons of real dinosaurs. If you look at the general table of land dinosaurs, you will notice that they all have a slightly similar skeletal structure, just some parts um, of the body are more or less developed. The length and development of the limbs, neck, tail changes, and then, depending on this, the spine, skull, and other parts also shape so that the body can balance. We can borrow the structure of individual body parts from different dinosaurs. I found a skeleton, photo, and renderings of a dinosaur from various artists. Uh, pay attention to the structure of the legs of the Iguanodon. We see pointed claws and the texture of the skin on the fingers. Right here. The structure of the limbs of the Niposaurus doesn't differ much from the Iguanodon, but they look a little more graceful. I will leave both examples to see the whole picture. We'll make something in between and in a different style. I have many more 3D dinosaur models here that I found. And I don't know how others do it, but it's convenient for me to place references in Pureref from the center to edge, depending on how important the details are. Looking at the concept, it's difficult to completely attribute our character to a dinosaur. The limbs are similar in shape to the legs of dogs or horses. Fortunately, we have the opportunity to see even the muscle structure of these animals. Look at the shape of the knee bones on the dog's hind legs. The knee joint, or as it's correctly called, right here, has a complex elongated shape. And we can also see how muscles attach to bones. I think this is what we are looking for. The shape is very similar to what is shown in the concept. I'll borrow this part for our character. I understand that for a stylized character, such a detailed search for references may seem superfluous, but in fact, in order to know exactly how we can change the shape and do it reasonably, we first need to understand how it really exists. One day I had a chance to talk with an engineer who specialized in aircraft and spaceships. Uh, at that time I was preparing for one competition and they told me that I might uh, have to create a 3D model of complex equipment, but I have absolutely no technical knowledge. And he was told me the basic features of passenger aircraft and uh, hypersonic and supersonic and some uh, spaceships. Uh, and my myth uh, that Star Wars ships could really exist has been absolutely destroyed uh, because spaceships uh, that flew in space uh, behaved as if they were in the atmosphere and looked the same. We don't have to be engineers and know anatomy perfectly, but at least a um, small understanding of what we are going to model is still necessary. Although we often have to make exceptions for the cinematography or creative ideas. 
we can see that it also had a similar shape of the bones of the hind legs. This elongated bone is called the calcaneus, as Google said. Let's look at the muscles of horses and dogs and apply them to the shape of a dinosaur. It sounds strange, especially when we borrow fingers from an anguanodon, but I'm sure this is not the strangest case. <laughs> the chest structure is not very suitable for us, like that of a horse or a dog. I think that the bones will be the same there, but the paws are set up wider, so I want to look that the ribcage looks like in big cats. Here we have the muscular system of a lion. We see how the muscles are attached to the chest and shoulder blades. I even have an example of creature here that was drawn by a sculptor and obviously he was also inspired by the musculature of cats, at least more of the pectoral muscles. I think this is enough to understand the structure of the body. We can also search for references in the process. Next, I added some photos of the lizard scales, but I think that they will not be very useful for us because we want to make a stylized character. Much will have to be simplified, but something on the contrary will have to be shown more pronounced. We are lucky that we have a concept, which means we don't have to stylize the silhouette but the details still have to be a little fancy. To do this, look at the stylized 3D models. Notice how the author simplifies the muscles, but adds detail in the form of scratches or cracks. In some prominent places, it's also necessary to show the edges sharper than they could be in real life. See how the author shows the density of the material without using the material. The edges of the thorns are very sharp and the skin has many folds, soft but still with prominent edges. Look at the knees of a horse. How do you think such sharp edges could be in real life? The style is different everywhere, although it seems similar. There are no definite rules, this effect is achieved by watching, so we will look at all these pictures in the process of work, and try on various details and see how they suit us. And finally, the saddle and accessories. Everything already exists on the concept, so we will not change it. But to understand where its shape came from, let's look at the saddles. The camel saddle seemed especially unusual to me. We also have here a travel bag, which we will also try to simplify and stylize a little. A bed for sleeping and various attachments. Now I realize that for some reason we don't have stirrups on the concept, but I think that is not so critical. In the next tutorial, I'll show you the basic tools and the pipeline for a quick start to work in ZBrush. Thanks for watching. Bye!